Hello everyone and welcome back to the YouTube channel. If you're here for the first time, hi. My name is Busari Imulayo and I'm a registered nurse. On this channel, I film content related to nursing and healthcare. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the nursing care plan for hyperthyroidism. If you're new here, please click on the subscribe button to join the YouTube family and also on the bell icon so you don't miss out when I drop another amazing video. With that being said, let's get right into the topic for today. First, let's do a brief review or brief revision of what hyperthyroidism is. Hyperthyroidism, which is also known as Graves' disease, is a metabolic imbalance which results from overproduction of two of the thyroid hormones, triadotyronine and thyroxine. Usually, actually, there are three hormones produced by the thyroid gland which are T43 and calcitonin, but hyperthyroidism occurs when T3 and T4 are overproduced. Hyperthyroidism has a lot of clinical manifestations like um, hypermetabolic state of the body, but these two clinical manifestations that I'm um, talking about in this particular slide would inform some of the nursing diagnosis we'll be working on today, which is why I'm showing you. So, a person with hyperthyroidism is going to have the thyroid gland enlarged, so their neck is going to like bulge out with something inwards then they could also have their eyes bulging out a state known as exophthalmos now that we remembered what hyperthyroidism is let's get into the nursing diagnosis that we'll be working on today we'll be working on three nursing diagnoses today one situational low self-esteem related to changes in body features evidenced by constant emotional outbursts from the patient I showed us two different body features that would change in a patient with hyperthyroidism in the last slide so that is one of the things that is informing this particular nursing diagnosis risk for imbalanced nutrition less than body requirements related to increased metabolism now a patient with hyperthyroidism will have their metabolic rates increased so their food will digest quickly and the nutrients they need may be less than what they have in their body system. Three, risk for impaired tissue integrity related to impaired closure of the high lid. Just like I showed us in the last slide, the eyes may bulge out and they will not be able to close their eyes. And because of this, there is risk for injury to the eye and tissue surrounding the eye. Now that you are very familiar with the nursing diagnosis, let's get into the nursing objective, nursing intervention, scientific rationale as well as the evaluation of each of those nursing diagnoses. The objective for the first diagnosis is that patients will become more adjusted to body changes and regain self-esteem after nursing intervention. The first nursing intervention is to instruct the patient relatives to refrain from making comments about the change in patient's body features. And the rationale is that once they keep talking about how the body is changing, how the neck is bulging out, how the eyes are bulging out, the patient's emotions may be hurt. The second nursing intervention is probably to remove mirrors from the surroundings of the patient because this will prevent the patient from constantly seeing the changes in body features like when there's a mirror all around the patient or when there are mirrors all around the patient when they turn to the left they are seeing their body changing turning to the right they'll see their body changing and that may actually hurt the patient's emotions or reduce their self-esteem the next nursing intervention is to take ethics and courtesy seriously when you are attending to the patient. That's because if you just attend to the patient anyhow, you don't take consent or seek consent before you attend to the patient, you don't talk to the patient politely, they might feel, oh, is it because my body features are like this? Is that why this nurse is treating me in such manner? And it may actually hurt their emotions and lower their self-esteem. Finally, you have to explain the cause of the the cause of body changes in their body features as well as the treatment plan to resolve those changes with the patients as much as they ask anytime they ask because they will definitely keep asking questions about their health status because they need reassurance they need to be sure that they will be fine and here is the evaluation written in past tense now because we've done everything and now the patients became more adjusted to body changes and regained self-esteem after nursing intervention the objective for the second nursing diagnosis is that the patient will demonstrate stable weight and be free of signs of malnutrition throughout period of hospitalization the first nursing intervention is to monitor the daily food intake of the patient you weigh the patient daily and report loss in weight the rationale is that the patient is losing weight even with adequate food intake even when they are eating well it may indicate that there is failure of the drugs that they are using possibly the drug 
they are using is not working or the top or, or the form of therapy they are on is not yielding positive results second lesson intervention is to avoid foods that increase peristalsis and fluids that cause diarrhea because you're trying to retain nutrients not lose them the rationale is that once the gi motility like the gastrointestinal tract motility is increased it may result in diarrhea and it would impair the absorption of needed nutrients from the food eaten by the patient next nursing intervention is to encourage the patient to eat and increase the number of meals and snacks daily and the rationale is that this will aid in keeping their caloric intake high enough to uh, match the energy expenditure or rapid expenditure of calories which is a result of their hyper metabolic state you know their foods are getting digested so quickly they are using a lot of energy so quickly and you need to meet up with that finally you administer medications as indicated such as glucose and vitamin b complex and you are doing this to meet the energy and nutritional requirements of the patient and here is the evaluation that patient demonstrated stable weights and was free of signs of malnutrition through a period of hospitalization the objective for the third diagnosis is that the patients will maintain moist eye membranes free of ulcerations through a period of hospitalization the first intervention is to encourage the use of dark glasses when the patient is awake and the rationale is that this will protect the exposed cornea which is the outer most layer of the eyeball if the patient is unable to close his or her eyes completely like is our eyelids completely second thing is to instruct the patients in extraocular muscle exercises if they are appropriate and the rationale is that this will improve blood circulation and maintain the mobility of the eyelids the next intervention is to moisten the conjunctiva often with isotonic eye drops and this will help to protect the exposed cornea from trauma finally elevating the head of the bed and restricting salt intake of the patients if it is indicated and the rationale is that this would help to decrease the edema of tissues around the eyes and here is our evaluation coming in in past tense that patients maintained moist eyes membrane free of ulcerations throughout period of hospitalization all right i hope you learned a thing or two if you liked the video please give it a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this click on the subscribe button below so you join the youtube family and also the bell icon so you get a notification whenever i drop another video like this with that being said i'll see you in my next video bye